one of the things that's clear now is you're going to be able to make that product a lot more affordable than this, probably permanently. So I actually think that there are going to be a bunch of different of these paths that we've taken are going to be kind of permanent product lines that people will choose. I think you'll see displayless glasses like the Ray-Ban Metas continue to get better and better, great for AI, no display, but you can talk to it, it can talk back. I think that there's going to be something in between these that's basically a heads-up display. So it's not a 70-degree field of view. Maybe it's a 20-degree or 30-degree field of view. So that's not going to be what you want for putting kind of a full hologram of a person or interacting with the world around you. But it's going to be great for... You know, when you're talking to AI, not just having voice, but also being able to see what it's saying. Yeah. Right? Or um, being able to text someone with your wrist-based neural interface and then have their text show up rather than having it read to you, which is it's, we read faster than we can listen. Or getting directions, right? Or um, just being able to search for information and get all that. So there's a lot of value for a heads-up display. That will be somewhat more expensive than the displayless glasses, um, but somewhat cheaper than this. Then I think you're going to get this. It's going to be probably the most premium and, and expensive of the glasses products, but hopefully still something that, you know, like a computer is generally accessible to most people in the world. 